Welcome to College Station, Texas, and Kyle Field, home of the 12th man and ready to cheer on the Texas A&M Aggies. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see, the number 10 team in the country, the Missouri Tigers, taking on the 24th ranked team in the land, the Texas A&M Aggies. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollack and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Texas A&M about to put it away to start this game. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. They challenged this crowd to bring the energy, and I'd say they're doing that. Power football with the run. Yeah, it's a bit of a surge, and he's knocked down after picking up three to the 26. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches and feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs, but I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. They'll keep it on the ground. Runs ahead and powers his way from four yards out to the 30. I think he run that play on second down, knowing he's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table, everything's available, high success rate. Decimals rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chains. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team, and we're going to run the football even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They've got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. And the Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll go to the ground. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Small game, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. They go to the ground. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. You want to get the crowd out of the game? Make it boring. Pound the football. Run the football right at them. It takes, it takes the juice away. It takes that sauce away. You don't get to those third down situations where they get absolutely bonkers and it's hard for the quarterback to even think. Just run the football right at them. The RPO, fire complete to the left. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a room. Line getting set on second down. Off play action. Just a short pass to the tight end. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. He's got it again. There to stop him after a pickup of three. It's down to the 15. Third down, and this crowd will pull out a vocal cord to help this defense. 
They'll try to bully their way for the first. He almost punched it in for six. They'll get him down at the one-yard line. And this offense has really gotten to a nice rhythm here on their opening drive of the game. Running the ball, getting it down now into a goal-to-go situation. They really have established a bit of a physicality here early. Let's see if they can keep that up. Powers forward. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Tigers! I love running backs that have a nose for the goal line. Understand how to get there, finish strong into the end zone, know I get six, and then go celebrate with your boys. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard punch. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. First down for this offense. Dropping back, it's Wegman. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Early in the game, as a DB, I'm settling in. It, it, it's okay if I give up four, six, seven yards. I'm just trying to get settled in, gauge the speed, and then later on, I can adjust to the speed of the game. Give to the single back. At the 35, he's open. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. Running the balls in the Aggies' DNA, I mean, that dates back to the Junction boys. It's the physicality. They find those guys up front that can make holes, and I think that's when you've seen the great A&M teams. Really good offensive line paving the way for those backs and those great teams they've had. They're going to ride this running back. Turns it on in midfield. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. This defense is going to have to do a better job slowing down the run. We've seen twice now in this opening drive. This guy break one. And so this defense has to do a better job at the point of attack, and their D coordinator probably is already thinking to himself, do I have to get another guy in the box to slow this guy down? Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gun of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. Well, that's disappointing for the offense, because that's a play that you rep all week long in practice. You should be able to hit that one no problem. The QB receiver couldn't come up with a completion. After the incompletion, it's second down. They'll leave it with him. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job on the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. To the air, it's Wegman. Fires complete on the crosser. Delivers the contact. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. It's amazing in college football, the tight end position and how much has changed. Back in the day, you're a blocking guy. Maybe you catch a flat route. Today, these guys have athleticism, and you just saw it from that dude after the catch on that last one. Using his legs, it's Moss. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great job by the whole defense, but how about the little bitty defensive back throwing his face in the fan? I ain't scared. I don't just cover guys. I make tackles. 
Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Calls his own number. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Man, the evolution of the quarterback position. Basically, you should call them running backs who throw the ball really well now. And guys, you know the other thing that happens here is that sets up the next play because you've sort of left the defensive line gassed trying to run down the quarterback. Oh, you got to be in shape chasing him around all day on design runs, on scrambles, and... You know, it's just, and the plus one advantage you get by having that guy. It's just, it's so hard to defend. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And they'll send out the field goal unit. Neil boot one from the right hash. He ought to be able to navigate that angle from this distance. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. That one's going to get a little star mark beside it on the play sheet. One play, explosive, touchdown just like that. Just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. Trying to impose their will with the run. He found a hole, got about five. He's down at the 21. And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. Catch in the middle, it's Muhammad. Really nice job to get it past the sticks. Pick up the first down at the 30. Third down, understanding exactly where the sticks are. You know, you, you got to stop certain routes so they don't get to certain depths. Quarterback completes and gets another first down. Got to be a little bit more mindful of where those sticks are. The Aggies have it with a first and 10. Fast motion from the offense. Here's the handoff. Plows through the defense. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
Man, he tried to do all he could. He broke one tackle, but my goodness, guys were hitting him left and right in the backfield. This is a staple for any good defensive coordinator. They want their guys to swarm to the football, to gang tackle. If one guy misses, another one's there. No doubt. And the staple for the offensive coordinator and the offensive line coach is block those guys. Don't watch them tackle our guys. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there. And he stopped from getting the first down. I like the idea by the quarterback there. You're trying to get this first down, so you find the tight end, see if he can make a guy miss or shake a tackle. Not able to get it done. Though. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Snagged in the middle, H. Muhammad. Oh, look out! The tag! Touchdown, Aggie! What a grab and go for the score! It's so challenging to stop the middle of the field passes deep down. You stretch me in these zones. I got to run with you, and man, it's always a good idea to run those deep posts. And you could tell they saw it all the way. Receiver quarterback on the same page gets the big touchdown. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they cut the lead to 14-10. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they find Pater from way out, covering 69 yards on the touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at him. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Linebackers in today's football, obviously, guys have gotten smaller. They got to play in space more, cover fast guys out on the perimeter. But how about this linebacker coming downhill and making a physical tackle in the hole? Back to throw. It's Cook. Got his man down the middle. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. That's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. Facing a third down and short from the 26. the play fake buys a little extra time and he tries to get away but he cannot he's taken down he'll lose a couple Missouri will have to send out the punt team. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. Off the play fake on first down, the throw. A strike downfield. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Sometimes your tight end's a safety valve, and sometimes he's your go-to receiver. And the offense knew right away it was the primary target. It was where he was going with the football, because you know you get a little bit of suck up from those linebackers with the play action, and you feed the big fellow. Hand off from the shotgun. Got enough for the first down and wants more. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. 
Hey, listen, explosive plays comes in all different shapes and sizes. That time they attack the outside to the left on the ground, and that is a momentum-shifting play. They know they have a huge advantage there. I, I expect them to go right back to it. And what do you do now if you're on defense? you got to be expecting that they're going to try and tack that side of the field, maybe in the same way, maybe on this next play right here. To the ground. He's got it again. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Aggie. This offense is high octane, boy. You just saw it. Not a lot of time needed for them to go all the way and score six. Well done. They'll try to attack one more on their score. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the scoring play came on the 12-yard run. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Quick pass on the jet motion. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside. David, who puts the defense in such a difficult spot? You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get them out of the spot. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved and I'm on defense because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication. And it can really rattle an offense. So Missouri will have to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Running it back, it's Barber. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. And wings it incomplete. I love the quick decision that QB made there on that RPO, knowing he wanted to get it out of his hands fast. He just needs to make a more accurate throw moving forward. They'll go back to work after the incompletion. Here's second and 10 from the 36. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. And that one's going to get Reveille howling a happy tune. Reveille, the 12th man, all the swaying, the traditions when you go to an A&M game. These fans love their team and they love playmakers that make big plays down the field. Texas A&M going quickly. On the move, it's Wegman. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and he just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. A little screen to the running back. 
He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Well, the defense sniffed that screen out perfectly. All the D linemen, they were reading the body language of the offensive line. They knew something was up, and when the screen pass got thrown, they were right there to make the tackle. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Hits him inside the 20, still going. Touchdown, Texas a and And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Defense has to be better on the back end. They knew this offense was going to come out, and they were going to challenge them. They were going to try to push the ball vertically down the field. They've now given up two touchdown passes in this game. They've got to shore up their play in the back half. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they finish the drive with a touchdown toss from the 49. The kickoff team out there getting set. The returner will field it and try to do some business. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You gotta hold serve at this point, right? You gotta drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, Football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. They've got him down at the 40 after he ripped off 15 yards. It's so nice as an offense to know you can generate explosive plays by handing the football off to this guy. He has got incredible speed. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. Wide receiver shows motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. Across the 45. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Yeah, and way to be creative. Way to get the ball in the perimeter really quickly. Get some speed outside. All you got to do is secure that edge, and you're just trying to get that first down. Nice job. Nice play call by the offense. The Tigers come to the line in the hurry up. Leaves it with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, what a play by that defensive lineman. You, you can say he was channeling his inner power. And that's what defensive linemen do. Big, fast, one of the most athletic players on the field. Getting in the backfield, just beautiful. You know, you could have shown a little humility there and said, aw, shucks, or something. Aw, shucks, or something. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Got the first down and more. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. This offense has a lot of different ways they can attack you, and you're going to see the entire playbook at work in this game. Throwing it, running it, and getting guys the ball out on the perimeter. Great job. Missouri has it ready to go with another first down. Running back searching for a hole. Plows ahead for a pickup of four down to the 14. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Wide receiver coming across in motion. The gift to the back. Relying on the run, he gets a couple before he's knocked down. Balls at the 13. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of the stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat like quickness. 
They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. On the run, it's Cook. Quick strike complete. And he was knocked down immediately short of the line to gain. They'll have to make a decision here. They were really hopeful he could make a guy or two miss and pick up the first down, but he comes up a little short. Yeah, and it's great defense. It's defense understanding where the sticks are, not missing tackles, getting the guy on the ground quickly. Really nice job by the defense understanding the situation. The field goal is no good. Guys, that field goal could loom large. Missing an opportunity to get within a touchdown, we're still sitting on a 10-point game. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills. They've got it at the receiver position, so if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He'll keep it himself. He locked up and held on to bring him down. The offense thought they had a good look to run that play into with the QB, but there's just an example of a defender winning his one-on-one -on -one battle and making a tremendous play. Great effort by that guy. So they're facing third and short from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Quick completion on the out. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Man, this quarterback is having a first half. He's over 200 yards already. Heating up, setting up. Dude, this dude might break his career high in passing. I don't know what it is. Somebody get stats for him. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Holds and fires complete to the right. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre snap He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Now on second down. The play-action fake. Coming after it. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Looking to throw, it's Wegman. Fires to the wideout. He can't make the catch. Had it right in his hands, and it'll be fourth down. Yeah, and in third and short, it's a great place to be for an offense. You've got the whole playbook available, and they choose to pass it. The defense did a really good job playing the pass, and fourth down now, it's decision time for you. The Aggies send out the punt team to kick it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say maybe I go for it more, but Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Looking for a gap. It's Carroll. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. Not at all. Great job by the defense getting the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes. Nowhere. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll try to power their way ahead. 
He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Missouri will have to send out the punt team. Well, what that punt lacked in height, it made up for by being short. And after that putt, that's where they'll mark it. It'll be just inside the 35-yard line. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. They'll try the run. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. The coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. They'll run the screen. And midfield, he's got room. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. A new set of downs after the completion. Back to pass, it's Wegman. Gets it out quickly. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. You hate giving up that play if you're the DB on this one because you're playing man coverage, you're trying to defend a slant route, you've taken the inside away. That's where your leverage is. You'll allow anything to happen to the outside. You're trying to funnel the receiver to the boundary. You just cannot let the receiver beat you to the inside. He's got it. Makes the stop at the 23-yard line, but it's a pickup of 15. A first down, and this offense is smelling the end zone. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything is working. The offensive coordinator's calling good plays. The quarterback and his unit is executing. And this defense right now, they have no answers. Texas A&M back to work with another first down. They want to just keep throwing it. Got it in the middle. It's green. They make the stop if this passing game does some damage and they move the sticks with the first down. Another first down. Man, this, this defense, this defense couldn't stop a nosebleed right now. It's that bad. Down to the 12-yard line. It's first down. The offense timeout. will have to use its first timeout of the half. Now down to the 12-yard line. It's first down. It's a draw. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. Maybe that stop shows this defense is tightening up, especially in the run game. The offense, frankly, they've been able to do whatever they want to do. They're just handing the ball off. This guy's having success left and right. No sir, no Moss. Get it together. On second down, he'll fire. That's caught. It's Thomas. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without score. Touchdown, Aggie! And they take it in for six more points. That touchdown puts them up by at least two scores. Too early to say it's over? Probably, but boy, it's starting to feel that way. It might not be over, but you're in trouble. And you better find some answers really, really quickly. This team is putting everything together. And right now, you got nothing going. Come on, give me something. The kick is up and good. It puts one more on the lead. An impressive 66-yard touchdown drive. And they finish things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. From inside the 10, here he comes. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Takes the handoff. It's Carroll. They needed to find enough space and get it moving forward, and they're up to the 22. 
We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Texas A&M, 31, Missouri, 14. Missouri will put a foot to it to start us in the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner goes down. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. If it's working, why change it? And that running game was working in the first half. I imagine we'll see a lot more of it here in the third quarter. And you just know the offensive line was telling their coordinator, put this on us. Let us continue to go out there, push these guys around. We can put this game on our back and end this thing by running the ball. And this is a manhood question for this defense. Like, as a defensive lineman, and you're pounding the rock, pounding the rock, like... I gotta physically rise to this challenge. This defense has to play more inspired and more physical in the second half. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. You know, this offensive line, they just gotta hold their blocks a little bit longer. This offense likes to run their quarterback on design plays. And if you can just give him a little crease, he can take it the distance, but they couldn't get it done there. A third and long coming up here. Dropping back, it's Wegman. Makes the grab on the left. And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets enough on the catch for the first down. Just beautiful. And that's a great feeling as a quarterback when you make that throw. It keeps your offense on the field, keeps the offense in rhythm. Obviously not as good as throwing a touchdown pass, but I'll tell you this, way better than having to trot off over to the bench and wait for your turn to get another shot. They'll give it to the back. They make the stop after a gain of three to the 31. It's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. Fires to the big fella. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Nice run there by the tight end, making it real easy for his quarterback to find an easy completion. This Texas A&M offense is wasting no time. On the move. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. Leaves it with the running back. Still running at the 40. They've got the defense reeling right now with that big play to the 29. You count up those explosive plays in a game and you put a little extra star by the big run. Yeah, and this running back is a weapon, boy. He is so good in space. He's got shiftiness. He can make guys miss. And if this guy gets into the second level, watch out. He can hit a home run. Motion from the offense. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Got a man. It's green. Touchdown, Aggie. And the pummeling has started. This is like a baseball pitcher that can't miss. He is just pounding, pounding, pounding the strike zone. Well, that just gets in the zone, right? When you can't miss, you, you, you've seen quarterbacks get like that. No matter what they do, they're on fire. They're hitting the receivers. And listen, that's also on the defense. The defense has to do a better job of making him feel uncomfortable, changing what they're doing in coverage so he's a little bit confused. You can't just let him pick you apart. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Well, 
Defensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. And now over 300 yards. Still some time left, and he can put up even bigger numbers. And heck, go chase some awards, man. Get some postseason awards. Get an All-American. Just put up a day. From the gun, the running back has it. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front? Well, they want to come out and try to get the run game established, but up front defensively, they made a play. They gave up nothing on that one. Got to find some breathing room if you're going to establish yourself on the ground, and there wasn't any that time. Yeah, Reese, I wonder now if this offense is maybe going to try to get to the perimeter of the field and see if they can use their speed to hurt this defense. They stop him after a six-yard run out to the 24. I know the passing game sells, and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it would be very successful. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Looking for a man. It's Cook. He looks that one in nicely. He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. That was a nice pickup running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field, and you saw that right there. From the gun, running back on the move. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. It's the M.O. of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride, and they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. Mizzou coming out with a fresh set of downs. Here's the give off the left side. Got enough for the first. And he's out of bounds after a terrific run and a nice pickup. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. Right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. Man, and that's a big missed opportunity for the running back. I'm trying to find ways to feature this guy and get him the football in space and not just hand it to him all the time. And tell you what, I'm a lot less likely to find those plays if he can't reel in those catches. To the air, it's Cook. Fires to the right. It's caught downfield. And you can see the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. Really effective concept against the zone there, and it helps all the more, David, when you have a tight end that can get downfield. No doubt. Take your tight end, put him in the slot, makes it easier, better matchup. Now he's got a good corner route. You can tell, sticks his foot in the ground, quarterback puts it up there. Know he's got zone, know he's got the big fella. He goes up, catches the football. Make got some room in it to the goal line. Touchdown, Missouri! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. This is why you consistently run the football. A steady diet because you can break the long touchdown runs. Nice job breaking through the line of scrimmage, outrunning the rest, getting in for the long touchdown. My philosophy on going for two is only when you have to. Trying to barge in. He'll make his way in for the two, and now they're down by 16. So an 82-yard drive there. And what a way to finish it off with a 21-yard touchdown run. Trying to fight their way back into this thing, down 16 and about to kick off. Here he comes from inside his own five. 
Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do, build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect them. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now, on the same page. And they'll come to the line with less than a yard to go. Right back to the well. Dances away from one. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Well, they only needed one yard, so no mystery there. Turn around, hand it off, and he finds a way to get it. Setting up for a first and ten from the 26. The give to the tailback. Picks up the first down. And after the explosive run, giving this offense a little bolt of energy, he steps out of bounds for the first down. Another good run. Man, he has been picking up yards and bunches today. Jesse, showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. This guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. The give to the back. Sweet cut there. He smashes his way through again. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. There's really no secret to it, David. When this guy's running well, this offense is so hard to stop. It opens up everything, and he's having a great day, showing you a little bit of everything, and this offense has got it rolling on the ground. Give to the back. He has the first and still on his feet. And he's brought down after a nice game. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. Give to the running back. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Yeah, and another good run. What's new, though? I mean, this dude, 150 on the dot. That is a great day at the office. He's been really, really good all game long, and it's no secret why they continue to feature this guy in the ground game. Texas A&M going up tempo. From the red zone, looking for a space. He's got it on the run. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Well, when you're running the drag route against man coverage like that, as a quarterback, you've got to put the ball out in front of your target. When you do that, you give the guy a chance to then advance the football up the field, pick up a first down like they did right there. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Touchdown, Aggies! And the punishment has been extended. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So a drive there of 85 yards. And he got into the house from the sixth to finish it. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. 
There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can they back it up here? Well, and it's amazing in a football game how sometimes they'll surprise you with what you do. Once you get settled and you realize what's going on now, I'm comfortable with it. Jesse, this offense looked comfortable on its last drive. They sure did. It looked like they started to find some momentum. So now it's on this defense to stop that, all right? You're a little bit upset based on what just happened the previous drive. You've got to bow up again and go back to what was working earlier in this game. Quickly to the tight end. They've got it out to the 34 after getting five there. How about the big fella, the tight end, the wide receiver in a tight end's body going up and making the catch. Lining up from the 34 on first down. Looking to move it through the air. And while the pass is incomplete, the flag is down. I think that was a free play for this offense. Defense was in the neutral zone. Maybe can be a little more aggressive here after the offside penalty. It's first and five. To throw, it's Cook. This one's complete. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. Zone coverage means everybody's looking at the quarterback. So now, when I'm a wide receiver, I got to make sure I know I fit in the hole between these zones. I know where they're dropping to, and I know where I need to get to. Great job by the wide receiver finding that hole and the quarterback throwing a strike. Going to run it. It's Carroll. Got the first down and more. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. The Tigers will snap it on first and 10. They're getting this guy lathered up. Knocked down at the 35 after a pickup of three. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. He wants to pass it on second down. Grabbed over the middle. It's Cooper. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Nice job by the receiver there, running the drag route against zone coverage, finding the soft spot, making it easy on his quarterback to get the completion. He turns it upfield and he moves the sticks. On first and 10, trying to strike from the 15. Quarterback run is part of their game plan. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Well, this guy's a weapon, throwing it and running it, and you know he's going to try to hurt this defense with his legs. It puts so much stress on the defensive line to chase him and the fact that the play is extended so long. Yeah, if they've got a spy defensively, if someone's athletic enough to run with this guy, that's going to be maybe a, a sound move moving forward schematic. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. Want to talk about a monster performance? This guy now has 150 yards rushing. The defense has had no answer for this guy, and he's showing you why he is such a weapon in this offense. Speed, the ability to catch the ball, the vision, the quickness. He's got all the tools in the toolbox. Little touch pass to the receiver. He showed off a few moves, but not enough to get away from all of those defenders as they stop him for a loss. Really good job by the defense seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It could happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand, safety's got to see that start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that play. The run up the middle, looking for the score. Touchdown, Tigers! And they take it in for six more points. Let's see if they can roll snake eyes in a good way and get the deuce. Trying to bully their way in. 
He's not quite going to get there, and the try for two fails, and they are unable to cut into this lead any further. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. He'll pull it on the read. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the option game can be tricky, right? But nice job by the defense playing assignment football. And watch the linebacker. You could tell. Locked in on the quarterback. Chases him down. Gets to him. Not only gets to him. Doesn't let him break a tackle. Gets him on the ground. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Looking for space. It's Moss. And they swarm him under. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Third down after the run. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. At the 35, he's loose. The expressway is wide open. Oh, he thought for sure he was going to be able to house that one, but a huge pickup all the way down to the 12. Every time he touches the ball, you can feel the excitement from this home crowd because Palmer, he can go the distance with that game-breaking speed. You're right, David. He's a special talent. I'll tell you, these fans, they come here to see this guy play because he has game-breaking speed. Stuff you can't coach, you saw it on that play. In the red area, it's Moss. Able to pick up a couple before he's knocked down. They mark it at the 10. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. To the ground with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the defense is going to have to have more plays like this. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes up with a stop. Maybe get a little momentum here. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. Fires into the end zone. Touchdown, Texas A&M. And the stomping has commenced. How about it? Everyone getting involved, getting the big tight end involved. This offense has done an unbelievable job scoring points. This defense has had no answers. Just keep it rolling, offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. They'll throw it on first down. Good timing on the quick out. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. And these quarterbacks have to really trust their wide receivers that they're going to be disciplined and run to the right route when they're throwing that ball to the outside like that because those corners are sitting there on the inside, and the worst thing that could happen is to miss inside and that cornerback be going the other direction. Quickly complete. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Yeah, when you run those drag routes, it just takes a little bit of know-how. And when I say that, the receiver's got to understand, find space, 
My quarterback's going to find me. He's looking for that space at the same time. Nice throw, nice catch. Way to get the first down. Now on first down from the 30. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Got a man in the middle. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. Wants to throw on first down using the quick game. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. That's why the good Lord invented tight ends, isn't it, David? Get a good pickup on first down, open up the entire playbook. And it just makes life so easy on quarterbacks. I mean, you got these guys that are so gifted athletically that you can do everything with them. They're like overgrown wide receivers and now understanding zones and how to attack them. It's just unbelievable when you've got these kind of big athletes. Second down, that leaves him needing a yard here on third down. He'll just keep slinging it. Finds a tight end. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. And after that short completion, what will they do now? Just a few inches to go. Yeah, and you wanted to get the ball out quick, and you wanted your receiver to make the play for you and get the first down. You don't now. Decision time, fourth and short. On fourth down, they'll throw for it. Fires to the wideout. And it's incomplete, and the defense stands tall and gets off the field. Line gets set, first down. Listen, with the aggressiveness of offenses and taking chances, a lot of times it's going to put your defense in a hole. And this defense is going to have to come through in the clutch right here because you're trailing. They can't get more scores. they got to get a stop on this possession, and the offense is going to have to do better than they just did. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. They're looking for an advantage to the right. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And after taking a loss on that last run, a little bit of pressure right now for this offense on their own side of the field. They've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but this is a critical third down that they have to convert. They don't want to give the ball back and put the pressure on their own defense. And the running game has gone in the wrong direction. The offense tries to turn it around and go forward on third down. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, no surprise. I mean, with the way they're running the ball early in this game, they're just going to keep doing it. And they're just not hammering out two, three, four-yard gains. They're gashing this defense. You saw it right there. A&M comes back out with another first down. Handoff to the lone back. Got the first down. Looking for more. Touchdown, Aggie! And the route is on. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get concerned because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring, and the defense better do something about it. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And what a way to put a stamp on that one with a 41-yard run to the house. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Bulldozes him. They bring him down, but not before a really good return sets up this offense in solid field position. He'll come out throwing on first down. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Well, they take a shot down the field. It's another incompletion. It's really been that kind of story. This defense has made this guy earn it 
every single play. Really small windows to throw into. One touchdown pass. That's a little bit surprising. You thought maybe they'd have more in this game. Looking to throw, it's Cook. This time on target. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. Great job by the offense being patient, understanding when they're in zone coverage, I got to hit those tight windows, make those precise passes to get those big plays. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. He's going to pass. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Oh, look what I found. The offense keeps it. Doesn't it always seem like that ball is on the ground for like 30 seconds? You got 17 guys running at it in slow motion. Like, I got to get the football offense. Very lucky to get that football back. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. He's looking to throw. Gets open down the middle. And there was lots of space as he gets it to the 39-yard line. That is an excellent throw by the quarterback, finding the window between the zones and delivering that ball on time. Missouri really moving on offense, set up with another first down. He's looking to throw it. They're bringing heat. Pocket starts to collapse. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller, and certainly if you're the quarterback, that you're going to have time to throw. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. Facing a third and long. They're going to throw it again. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. And they can't make the connection on fourth down, and they'll turn it over. Offense set on first down. I'll tell you what, it gets late in the football game, man. I got to start being aggressive. When, I, when I'm in a hole and, and, and the clock's running out, like it's going to make me have to throw the football, be more aggressive. And this offense doesn't come through for their team. And now they're going to really need their defense to get some stops here in this football game in the fourth quarter. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. He'll try to pick it up on the ground. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. 
man, I just need a crease. I, I need you offensive linemen just like right here. Great job holding the point of attack. Don't let any penetration come in. Give me a little sliver, and then you see the running back Palmer. He'll do the rest, lower his shoulder, and make sure he gets the first down. Yeah, it means a lot to this offense, too, to have a guy like this that always just seems to fall forward. He always, in these short yarded situations, knows where that first down marker is, and he's able to get those hidden yards in piles, driving his legs to help keep this drive alive. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of. But, you know, talking to the coaches coming to the game, like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today, though. They've got to go back to the drawing board, figure some things out, because this wasn't a great day. Quarterback on the keeper. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. The option football is about responsibility, but I can't give up my hand. I can't show him really quickly and make it easy on him. Good job by the defense, staying patient, defending all the options, stringing it out, making a nice play. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Power football with the run. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. 